to hear. Drink a good eel of it, make a good meal of it, stick to your old-fashioned beer. Now don't be afraid of it, drink till you're made of it. Now all together... Well, hi, it's Mark McDermott, uh, Chicago Craft Beer Examiner, also the Beer O' Not, and whatever other uh, craft beer blogs I might be starting up in the next day or two. And uh, today we are doing our first on-screen beer review. This is of uh, Magner's Pear Cider. It is uh, from Magner's uh, of Ireland. And this is being introduced in America. It is a uh, total pear cider. There's no apple cider with pear juice added. It is fermented from pears. And the uh, importer for America has contacted me and probably a couple other beer bloggers asking us to try it as they introduce it to America and who's going to turn down free beer. So we will take our chance with this and see what we come up with. Uh, Perry does not get a lot of respect among uh, regular beer drinkers. Um, I think because you kind of have this extreme between really fancy uh, champagne fermentation style uh, Perry's with sparkling uh, texture and uh, heavily processed commercial grade uh, bar, bar uh, Perry's. I think, uh, or bar ciders, rather, because ciders are very popular in England. I uh, haven't quite hit yet, but uh, there's quite a few popular ones out there, but not a lot of Perry's in uh, general circulation in this country. So we are going to take a chance with this. It is 4.5% alcohol. It is, as it says, imported uh, from Tipperary, Ireland, and, uh, well, some green glass bottles, and we'll have some pictures of these, I think. Uh, trying to decide what to uh, serve this in, I had guessed, and some of my online sources have confirmed that uh, they'd like a lager. You, it probably gets shown off best in a lager glass with the straight sides. Uh, a little narrow, doesn't hold a lot, so that we can um, get a good look at the uh, texture and the color. So we're going to give this a pour, take a sniff. A little bit of pear juice and uh, some cidery character. See how it pours. It's uh, quite clear. Maybe a little bit of cloud. Kind of the color of pear juice and as you can see nicely fizzy. Kind of a uh, slight soda texture but uh, very pale yellow like a uh, fermented pear juice would be. And we'll get a nice uh, good look at this. This is uh, being served in a uh, German Bitburger Pills glass, which really does show off the color nicely. Uh, a lot of bubbles clinging to the sides. And uh, take a good sniff. Very light uh, pear flavor uh, in the nose. I would almost think of a pear flavored uh, lifesaver. And take a sip. Sweet. Um, it, uh, I, I believe it has had some carbonation added and uh, quite a lot of uh, pear flavor to it. Maybe a little too sweet to, to be sessionable because it just kind of makes you want to uh, swig it all down, but um, to my mind it's uh, actually pretty tasty. It um, it's a little different, you know. It's it's not a beer, and it's really not a cider. It's in the same category because it's a fermented uh, pear juice, fermented fruit juice. But um, a lot of ciders will be a lot drier, and uh, as I as I will keep saying, this is a pretty sweet uh, drink. It. Um, Falls in, it falls in between the category of a beer and uh, one of the more decent wine coolers out there, but um, I do not detect a lot of uh, off flavor or anything distracting, because when you're fermenting fruit like this, you, you, you can get a lot of sulfur smells and uh, so on and so forth, but... Well, it... Uh, actually is a little milder even say than one of those Mike's hard lemonade things if they had come out in a pear flavor. So what we've got here is a uh, Magner's pear cider or as we call it Perry 
from Ireland, and I am going to say this is a pretty good uh, beverage. It is well worth uh, seeking out if you're looking for uh, uh, something you haven't had before. I think most of us are going to uh, find this is our first uh, pear cider, and it's a good introduction to the style. Make a good meal of it, stick to your old-fashioned beer. Now don't be afraid of it, drink